Hey guys, Marco here for Aviero Live CS. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about airspeed on reliable non-normal checklists. And we will go through both options when we can and when we cannot determine the reliable airspeed indication. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay guys, we are going to start our flight today from Dubai International Airport. We are taking off from runway 30 right. And after departure, we are going to simulate the airspeed on reliable condition. PMDG doesn't have it in the failures, so I'm going to try to do it myself. I will try to make it as real as possible. So let's go flying. We'll press the toggle switch. And after 400 feet, I'll engage the autopilot just to make my life easier here with the sim. Oh, there was a car crossing there. Gear up. Autopilot command A. Flaps up. Okay, flaps are coming up here. And we have flaps up, no lights. We'll do the after takeoff uh, flow. We check the engine bleeds are on, packs auto. I'll set the lights off. Remember always to follow your company's SOPs. Auto brake off and landing gear off. And then we'll call for the after takeoff checklist. Well, we'll keep flying and uh, I'm going to try to simulate the airspeed on reliable just for you to see. As you can see, the speed is decreasing. We have the PLI, we have the stitch shaker, we have the airspeed low oral. And remember, when you have a situation like this one, and we talked about this in our previous video, always, always check all flight deck indications in order to determine what is the reliable airspeed indication. So we will need to check the first officer's airspeed indication the ISFD airspeed indication, and then we'll need to compare in order to know which one is the reliable airspeed indication. Once as a crew we know what is happening and that we have an airspeed on reliable condition, we'll need to complete the memory items. Autopilot if engaged, disengaged. Auto throttle if engaged, disengaged. And flight directors off. We will set the gear up pitch, attitude, and thrust. We have flaps up, so it will be 4 degrees and 75% N1. So now we have our 4 degrees and 75% N1. And remember always to follow aviate, navigate, communicate. At some point you will have to talk to ATC to let them know the situation. Once this is completed, we'll call for the airspeed unreliable non-normal checklist. We will read the airspeed unreliable non-normal checklist condition, airspeed or MAC indications are suspected to be unreliable. Items which might indicate unreliable airspeed are listed in the additional information section. The objective is to identify a reliable airspeed indication, if possible, or to use the flight with unreliable airspeed table in the performance in flight chapter for the reminder of the flight. Autopilot, if engaged, disengaged. We did that, we disengaged the autopilot. Auto throttle, if engaged, disengaged. Flight director switches both off. Set the following gear up pitch 
altitude and thrust. And that's what we did before for flaps up, four degrees, 75% and one. Pro heat switches check on. So we'll check that the switches are on. The following indications are reliable. Altitude, N1, ground speed, radio altitude. Note, a stitch shaker, over speed warning, and air speed low, as is told, alerts may sound erroneously or simultaneously. Note, the flight path vector and pitch limit indicator may be unreliable on the PFZ and HUD. Then we have to choose one. Reliable air speed indication can be determined, or reliable air speed indication cannot be determined. So first we'll say it can be determined. So we'll use the reliable air speed indication for the reminder of the flight. In this case, after assessing the situation, we determine that the first officer side is the one which is reliable. If that's the case, we'll go to step 11. Step 11 says, choose one, captain's or first officer's airspeed indication is reliable, only the standby airspeed indication is reliable. In this case, the first officer's airspeed indication is reliable, so flight director switch, reliable side, on. We'll select that one, on. Step 14 says, autopilot, reliable side, if needed, engage. In this case, is the first officer side, so we'll engage the autopilot in command B. Note, autopilot may not engage or may disengage automatically. Step 15 says, do not use the auto throttle. We'll continue with the checklist, says choose one, captain's or first officer altitude indication is reliable. Captain's and first officer's altitude indications are unreliable. In this case, it's reliable. Use the reliable altitude indication for the reminder of the flight. And then we'll go to step 17, which says airplane may not meet RVSM aerospace requirements. 18 says set transponder to provide reliable altitude reporting. So outsource will go to the reliable side. Transponder mode selector TA only. We'll set it that. And then we'll go to step 22. Step 22 says checklist complete except defer items and we will review before descent for the approach. We can only set the borrow minimums on the reliable PFD. In this case will be for the first officer. Remove the borrow minimums from the unreliable PFD. Note if borrow minimums are set only on the first officer's PFD, VA, MDA or callouts are not provided. Go around procedure review. Refer to the performance in flight chapter to determine the go around pitch attitude and thrust setting. For pitch attitude, we have to refer to the flight with unreliable airspeed go around table. For thrust setting, refer to the go around percent and one table. And we talked about these tables last week. If you didn't watch that video, please don't miss it. You can uh, click on the link above. Let's continue with the checklist. We have to choose one now. Captain's or first officer's airspeed indication is reliable. When TOGA is pushed, the flight director pitch bar may automatically be removed. An autopilot flight director system pitch mode change, such as level change, restores the flight director pitch bar. Note, only use flight director guidance on the reliable PFD. Only the standby air speed indication is reliable. Do not use TOGA. Captains, first officers, and the standby air speed indications are unreliable. Do not use TOGA. For the last page, we have the additional information. It says one or more of the following may be associated with unreliable air speed or MAC indications. Difference between captain and first officer air speed indications. A speed altitude information not consistent with pitch attitude and thrust setting, blank or fluctuating airspeed indication, continuous or intermittent to stick shaker, indicated airspeed disagree alert, altitude disagree alert, AOA disagree alert, a speed failure flag, a speed limit failure flag, 
erroneous minimum speed bars, erroneous maximum speed bars, airspeed low oral, airspeed low PFD indications on one side, over speed warning, erroneous flight director pitch command, EEC alternate lights, radom damage or loss. If AOE disagree alert is shown, one or more of the following flight deck effects can occur. Erroneous pitch limit indicator, wind shear alerts, auto slat operation. Now we'll go back to the beginning of the checklist and we'll go directly to step seven just to see what happens if we cannot determine the reliable airspeed indication. In that case, we'll go to step A and we'll have to refer to the flight with unreliable airspeed table in the performance in flight chapter and set the pitch attitude and thrust setting for the current airplane configuration and phase of flight. Today, we're going to use the terminal area table, 5,000 feet, airport altitude, sea level, and our weight is 60,000 kilos. So we can see on the table, the pitch attitude is 5.5 degrees and N1% is 57.7. So we'll set the 5.5 degrees and 57.7% N1. So we have 57, close to 57.7% and 5.5 degrees. So that's going to give us around 203 knots and you can see that's what we are getting. So when in trim and stabilized, compare the captain, freeze officer, and standby airspeed indicators with the airspeed shown on the table. In that case was 203, an airspeed indication that differs by more than 20 knots or 0.03 Mach from the airspeed shown on the table should be considered unreliable. Now we choose one. Reliable airspeed indication cannot be determined in this case. We'll go to step 12, set pitch attitude and thrust from the flight with unreliable airspeed table in the performance in flight chapter for the airplane configuration and phase of flight, as needed. Step 13 says check the non-normal configuration landing distance tables in the performance in flight QRA chapter or other approved source. So performance has been uh, done here, and as you can see, we have selected then the normal checklist, airspeed unreliable. Note, maintain visual conditions if possible, establish landing configuration early, radio altitude reference is available below 2,500 feet, use electronic and visual glide slope indicators where available for approach and landing. Do not use the autopilot, auto throttle, or flight directors. We'll go to step 16. We choose one, captain's or first officer altitude indication is reliable. In this case, it's not. Captain's and first officer's altitude indications are unreliable. Note, airplane does not meet RVSM airspeed requirements. We'll go to step 21. In a step 21, in this case, we will put the transponder mode selector to altitude repeating off. There we are. And again, step 22, we'll go and see and check the defer items. Next, uh, we'll choose one. In this case, captains, first officers, and standby your speed indications are unreliable. Do not use TOGA. Last page again is the additional information. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do it now. And don't forget to hit that bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. If you think these videos could be useful for somebody else, please share them. And that's going to help me a lot to grow the channel. Next, we will continue with a non-normal checklist for flight instruments and displays. Until then, guys, please take care and hope to see you soon.